Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can add various levels of test severity in DBT models. So we are going to see how we can add a test severity of warning or test severity of actually giving an error. So let's move ahead. But before moving ahead, I do recommend all of you guys to connect with me on LinkedIn and as well as do remember to like, share and subscribe my channel. So as I move ahead, you actually know that we have been working on this, my project one. So this is the project that we have been creating as part of our whole videos, uh, you know, that we have in the playlist. And I do recommend watching all of the play uh, videos in the playlist sequentially in order to understand DBT. So now uh, when you have seen that we have created these models, we have also executed the test. So now if you actually go to the DBT project.yaml file, right? We already know that in this particular file, we have defined the paths to our folder structure. We have said that, okay, we want materialized tables. We want persist docs. We, you know, this is all what we have actually uh, learned in the previous videos as well. So here itself, what I can actually do is I can simply go ahead and I can simply say tests and you can also see it gives an auto suggestion. And then I can simply say, what's my project name? My project one so this is the name of my project so basically here i'm saying that go to test so in the tests uh for the test module go to my project one and there add a severity level i will simple say simply say plus severity colon one right so this is what this is going to do for the test part, what it will do, it will go to my project one and it is going to add the severity level of warning. So here you can also make sure that you add severity level of error. You can do that or you can say that, okay, for everything. So this plus means everything. That is what I explained even when I was explaining you the materialized and persist docs. So when you add plus, plus means for everything, right? So for everything, make the severity level as one. Or what you can also do is you can simply say for marts inside project one. So we have created marts as well, right? In our project, my project one in the models, we have also created marts. So we can say that for the marts that we are building, we want severity level. So let me say plus severity. I want severity level of error. Can I do that? Yes, you can define this. Now, when you define this, right, let me go to any model that I've created. Let me, for example, go to orders.yaml file. Let me go to this particular uh, file, you know, stage e-commerce order. So this is one of the uh, model that we have created. This is one of the staging model we have created. Now, if we do that, you can see I've already added few tests, right? Not null, unique. Uh, let, let us go and here in the cancel part i'll just comment this cancel part and i'll just save this file so here what i'm doing so what it will do is it will check for this particular column status and it will say the only accepted values are shipped completes and return if there is any other value apart from this then basically it has to give an error right now it is no, not under the marts folder so what it will do is it will give you a warning because we have said that give the warning in case of error. So what I can say is now to run this, I can simply say dbt test minus s and I can simply paste the name of my file and I can simply hit enter. Now you will see that it starts running and it says, okay, it found, it found so and so models and it start running your test. Now you can see what has happened here. Did it pass the test? Yes, it passed the test. Did it throw an error? No, it actually throwed you a warning. It said it what what it actually did. It actually warned you that there is an unexpected value in the order status. So if you want to look at the compiled code, it also compiles the code for you. So you can simply uh, simply go over here and check the compiled code. So this is the compiled code, right? This is the compiled test that it has built, right? So in case the comp, so if you can see select star from all values where value field not in this right so it got few values which are not present in shift completes and return and that is why it gave you a warning right so this is what exactly it means so now let me just simply close this now here 
I can, you know, even at the level of this YAML file also, I can add tests. Okay, even at this particular level, what I can do is, yeah, let me in fact go to uh, the maths over here, right? Now, if I go to maths or let me check any other file that we have created, which we can use, so let's say e-commerce products. Right now, if I go over here, you can see that there is a department right in this department column. It has already some tests which says not null. It also tells the expected value. Right. So here itself, I can say that what do I want here? I want CVLT of error. I can say that I want this test with the severity of error. I can say that now if I save it and let me say I comment this out. So what will happen is, although it ex uh, it only accepts right men and women as the value, right? It only expects these two as the value. If there is any error, what will happen is since I have given the severity as an error over here, it is actually going to throw me an error, right? This is actually going to throw me the severity of an error. So let me instead of women, let me say women's and simply just save it so what will happen is now let me try to run this okay let me try to run this particular test let me clear my output window and let me say dbt test minus s and simply paste the name and hit enter so now what you will see is it starts running the test that i have defined in my e-commerce products yaml file our previous model from our previous videos which we have created and we are running test now now, even in these tests, what is the what is happening? This particular column department, it expects two values, uh, women's. It expects only the value woman. Now, if there is any other value, it is actually going to give you an error. Uh, with the severity level of error, it is not going to give you warning. It is actually going to give you an error itself. So now you can see that the moment it has run, what it has done, it has failed this particular test and it has said, that okay it cannot accept this test and this test if you can see it actually failed exactly at this point right so this is how exactly your severity level work you can define it even within the yaml file or you can also define it after the uh, you know uh, at the project level in the project.yaml file dbt project.yaml file also you can define this so I hope you like this particular video. You understood the severity levels of error in DBT project. And thank you so much for being till here. But do remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel.